Hey, this is Nightflame, and today I will be reviewing Wolverine number one. Okay, so like, I never read any Wolverine issues before this. Uh, I guess everything feels like a Wolverine issue, if you ask me. Like, um, X Men, the Wolverine and the X Men is, well, it has his name on it, but you know, it's mostly centric on him. And only X Men has a lot of Wolverine in it. I mean, Wolverine appears a lot, but I have never read something that's like centric on him. And um, this issue is after, I mean, he's mortal now. If you guys didn't know, he's mortal. And um, in this issue, you find out what's happened to him after issue, I think it was 14 of the normal Wolverine series. This is like relaunching with a new number one. And it's called Rogue Wolverine. I think that's the story I called. I think that's what it is called. Okay. So in this story, what we get is um, that Wolverine... Uh, has joined this like rogue he's gone rogue and um he's joined this team i uh, you don't learn a lot about this team though it's um made out of i mean practically nobodies you don't even know any characters there and um their mission was to, to like infiltrate this thing in space you also find out that this guy was like um trying to this this guy was faking working for sabretooth to get information about Wolverine, but he was really from the Daily Bugle, and um, he was talking to Wolverine's boss, trying to get information about Wolverine. But at the end, uh, they found out that he was from the Daily Bugle, and uh, they were gonna kill him. One of uh, Wolverine's member, one of Wolverine's uh, team members from his team, from his new team, was gonna kill him. But then we learned that Wolverine actually shoots the guy. Um, the guy that was working for the Daily Bugle trying to get information about Wolverine. Wolverine shoots him. He, I, I mean, you guys would think that he was going to help him, but he shoots him. And that's where the comic ends. And I mean, this was weird. It was really weird. I like the little moments with like Storm and like Black Widow. I thought those were the best moments in the comic. I really didn't like the normal story. I mean, it's kind of interesting. I would really want to know how Wolverine became this way. Uh, the veredict of this issue, I give this issue uh, probably like a 7, 7, yeah, a solid 7. It was a very solid issue. I mean, nothing that stood out, probably the ending stood out the most, but the other parts didn't. I mean, I really like how he got the armor and how he learned how to shoot. That was pretty interesting, but you know, it's a very solid issue. If you love Wolverine, definitely pick it up. If you're so-so about Wolverine, you could give this a try. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you like this and subscribe and like this video. Thanks.